Hi everyone out there. I am so happy to be your host again on this show and if it's your first time please hit the like button and subscribe and um, on this channel we'll talk a lot in supporting foreign health trained professionals who are into North America they're trying to provide their services for um, North America and it's really very important on the services that they offer so today we're gonna be talking about just how to prepare for the medical licensing exams in Canada just in terms of timelines in terms of the activities that we should carry out just to prepare these exams and everyone has got their own approach it might be very different from one person to another depending on the initial background that you have in terms of how long you've been out of clinical practice um, in terms of the clinical research experience that you have in terms of how good you are with networking in terms of just how ready you are and how engaged and enthusiastic you are to push for your agenda to becoming a practicing physician either in the US or Canada but today we're gonna focus on the medical licensing exams for Canada so having knowledge about the, the exams itself it's really very important so before you embark on this journey on writing these exams it's really really important to be able to understand what kind of exams it is what structure what material you should prepare and the medical council of canada has all this information on their website which i um uh, indulge you to look at it i put the link in the description box below you can check it out it's really important to read all those objectives just give yourself some time do not shy away from reading just you know spend that couple of hours just reading and browsing and you can skim through it get the necessary information what you need the scope of the work that you need to cover in order to be ready to take this test how general is the test how detailed is it you know so that's the first thing so before you start preparing it is really important to research about the exams that you'll be writing um, and this will help you understand the information the content and expectations of that exams some common medical exams in Canada will be the Medical Council of Canada qualifying exams QE part 1 which is like the really really most important one there used to be a part 2 before but it was um, you know scripted out and the objective structured clinical examination called the OSCE and the National Assessment Collaboration Examination called the NAC. So generally we combine this to calling the NAC OSCE exams and these are the main exams that you're supposed to write. But as a foreign healthcare professional, depending on what province you want to practice in, there might be, um, you know, IELTS academic version that you have to provide to show that your English proficiency is a working um, level it's a professional level that is acceptable for Can for Canada and for Canadians to be able to understand you once a patient is interacting with you so this is really important there might be other exams like Casper but that really will vary and in terms of if you're in Quebec with Montreal then there might be other um, licensing processes that you have to go through which I urge you to check with those agencies that are in this respective provinces just to be sure in terms of what you're preparing for. The next thing is you should get study material um, and you understand that you can't prepare for any exams without really having that right study material. So the most important thing is that once you've understood the um, standard of the exams and the format and the content, then you need to get material that will help you to prepare and reach the target for that material or that content. This is really important because once you have this material and you're able to study them with that material you're able to tell if this is the content that you actually needed or not which is really really very vital in terms of you continuing and succeeding in this examination so we really urge you to be able to get this content and to study hard for this examination because once you study hard for the examination then you will be ready to succeed. The next thing I want to talk about is form a study group. If you form a study group, study groups, it's a forum where you can share information is really, really important. And study groups usually will have extra material, extra information from extra sources that you might really not know or you might not have known at a particular point in time. So it's really, really important for you to, you know, get study material, um, get into study groups and study with people from, with different backgrounds who've had different trainings and they will definitely help you 
to bring you to the part and you share ideas and you will grow. The next and the most important thing is um, being able to master the periods that these exams are written within the year. This is not an exam that you decide at any time t to go sit for it. There is a particular schedule that again you have to read through the MCCQ website which guides you and tell you about open windows for this particular exam throughout the year. And once you go and you sit for it, once you go and check on this website, you'll be able to know exactly when to register for the exams and um, where are the centers that you will sit um, for these exams at. If you're in Ontario, you got to know what particular centers are in Ontario. If you're in Alberta or in Quebec, wherever you are, then you got to know what centers these exams are written at and at what periods of the year. And um, the Nakoski generally is written um, for the time being twice a year, generally in the spring and in the summer and in autumn so late summer autumn and the spring these are periods where um we are the the nakoski is written and it's really important for you to register and nakoski is about you know three thousand one hundred dollars um it might change these fees keep changing all the time and then the qe1 exams is usually written about um four different times of the year you know corresponding to the four different seasons so there's usually the winter session there's a spring one there is a summer one and there is an autumn one and this may vary the window is usually open for about a month and a half it's usually good just to check from the mcc website and we can have all this information and then the final thing also is that um, we should always you know keep money for this examination registration as i said the practical which is a nac oski exams is about three thousand a hundred dollars the oral is a little expensive is way over three thousand dollars and then um the qe1 it's uh, it's way over a thousand dollars as well so it's about fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars so getting ready preparing this money is really important preparing money to buy study material is it's really necessary and vital. Personally, I would say I would advise for you to take these exams in two, three months, just depending on how ready you are. The more time you spend studying, the more the more you can forget certain stuff. I usually would encourage study earlier. This is my advice and everyone have their own schedule. So I'm gonna be coming with lots more information on this topic and if you have any questions, please leave it in the description box below. We'll be more than happy to support you. And until then, bye. -bye.